Hey everyone, I'm Vincent G. Francisco, Channel Manager at 3CX, and today I'm going to be talking about our call center functionality and giving a brief demo. So 3CX offers advanced call center features for maximum employee productivity and enhanced customer service. Included out of the box are features that are going to make your agents more efficient while also giving your management easy access to be able to monitor the business and see what your agents are doing on the phone. Some of the out-of-box features are going to be the uh, new website live chat and call, click to call, call queuing and rights management, call logging, recording, CRM integration, wall board with live statistics and monitoring, SLA alerting, call and queue reporting, barge in, listen in, and whisper, our new website live chat and call, and an API for developers. If there's anything out of the box that's not directly integrated that you need for the functionality of your business, um, we do have an API available in order to integrate um, different custom features. Let's uh, first touch on one of our new features with version 16. That's going to be the website live chat and call. So with our free plugin, you can allow your website visitors to connect with your call center or sales team in real time. You're able to chat or call, and all calls via your website are forwarded to your phone system free of charge using WebRTC technology. To set this, to set this feature up on the PBX, I'm going to switch over um, and share my screen of our demo PBX and show you um, exactly how to do that. Give me a second. going to be the um, PBX where you're going to do the administrative stuff on everything. So in order to go to the web chat um, live, you're going to go to the settings. You're going to find the WordPress website integration tile and follow the instructions. Like everything on our system, you know, everything is just fill in the blanks. Um, it gives you the information that's needed and then also guides. So for this, you're going to enter in your website URL. You can also click on this link, which is gonna take you to the information on what's needed for the full integration. It's gonna give you different information and a step-by-step -step guide. Um, but if you already know, you just include your website URL, your maximum allowed request, and also this is a web um, API token where you can schedule webinars on your website. One of the cool things that we've included is going to be the website code generator. Generator. This allows developers to easily add website live and chat and call without manually writing any code. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna fill in the required sections and it's gonna generate the code for you to use for the website. So now that we have talked about uh, the website live chat and call, I'm gonna quickly show you how to configure um, a CRM integration with your 3.6 phone system. So our CRM integration allows your agents to have the most valuable information on a customer when a call comes in or when dialing out. A screen pop can give your agents the latest information on the customer's account, any notes from their last conversations, and any action items that need to be discussed. Similar to the WordPress plugin, we're going to navigate to settings and find the CRM integration tile. We have a server side and client side um, for this. Um, our client side is like legacy, so everything we do recommend doing from the server side. Um, and this dropdown is gonna give you all of the available CRM integrations that are up to date. So from the dropdown, you're gonna select your CRM solution that you're using. For this example, we use Salesforce. When you pick a solution from the dropdown, it's going to give you a guide on how to configure your CRM. Um, so definitely click on this guide. It's going to give you step-by-step -step on what information you need. Some of the general information that will be needed are it's going to be a consumer key, um, username, password, and your security token. This is going to be information that is given to you from your CRM provider. And this just ensures authentication to integrate the 
36 phone system with the CRM integration um, with the correct username and password. Scrolling down, you can enable different things with call journaling, um, you know, uh, on your call subject, on what is going to be showed when you answer an inbound call. If you want to enable content creation or contact creation, sorry about that, which will create a new lead or contact in your system and your CRM um, and the information you would like that to show. <clears throat> like anything on our system, um, you know, we definitely recommend you test it in your demo environment before going live with the customer. So we can test this and then once everything looks, um, you know, great to your liking, you're going to press OK. So next thing we're going to talk about, which is very big with um, call centers, are going to be um, the way a call queue is set up. So the way a call queue is set up is going to be really imperative on how a call center runs. Um, we're going to create a call queue and show you some of the different options you have. So on the left side of the PBX, you'll see call queues. And once you click into um, that, there's going to be a few easy steps that you need to follow. So I've already created a 3.6 sales training demo queue that we'll use. Um, but when you're adding a new queue, you're just going to click the Add button, fill out the information for that queue, you know, your name, your queue, assign an extension. Um, if the one available is not the one, you know, you like to pick, you can, you know, select whatever you want um, that is available for your organization. You know, name it, test. Next, you will select your polling strategy. If you want a ring all strategy, if you want round robin, um, if you want the agent with the least talk time to get the calls coming in, however your organization is set up, um, you can select that polling strategy. So once you go through all the information, you know, your maximum queue waiting time, um, if they're waiting in the queue too long, if you want to end the call or connect to a different extension or a voice mailbox, definitely select that. Any music on hold, just follow the steps on what is uh, pertinent to your organization. Once you do that, you're going to go to agents and then add the agents you want in that queue. Um, you know, the same agent can be in multiple queues. Um, and some advanced features that you can configure are enabling like a callback when a customer is waiting in the queue, um, selecting a wrap-up time for agents to take notes about the call um, before receiving another call, and queue recording option for the caller. So now that we have made a queue, I'm going to show you a live call coming into the queue. <clears throat> so I'm going to switch over to my web client. And I'll show you a call coming in so that you can see some different applications like as a manager view. Okay. That is actually going to be my web client. Let me share the correct one. Okay, you guys should be able to see my web client. <clears throat> and from my 3.6 app, I'm going to make a call in um, to extension 011. Let me bring up my app on my cell phone. As soon as it connects. Okay. So as you can see, extension 002 is calling 001. I'm going to answer that call. And you can see that these agents are on the call. So because I am the queue manager, I can click into these. And I have the option to be able to barge in, listen, whisper. I can park the call, drop it, record it. Um, I have a bunch of different 
options to be able to monitor these. I can also go over to the switchboard and see the caller, who's calling, the time, and then I have different call queues. I have a wall board that I can see and then any cues or reminders that are set up. Because this is a demo system, um, not everything's configured where it's gonna be you know, super advanced for some organizations, um, but you can really get as granular and customizable as you like with the system by adding multiple cues, having different rights for, for callers and for managers um, in order to you know, monitor your call center or just sales organization in general. <clears throat> All right, so the last thing that we're gonna touch on is going to be call reporting. So I, I have um, some different call reports that I'm gonna show you, but I'll switch back over to the demo just to show you where to pull call reports. So if you're working on a call center opportunity and you know if you would like a more in-depth demo, definitely reach out to your uh, 36 channel rep to schedule time with you and your customer. And based on your customer requirements or specific questions, you know, we'll definitely cater a demo based on what's important to them and to help you close the deal. Um, so just some general things, we're gonna go to settings, or actually we're gonna go to reports. <clears throat> and this is where you're gonna pull the reports. Um, and you can schedule these daily, you can do the first day of the month, you can schedule them weekly, you can do a one-time pull, whatever you want. You can do an extension statistics report, if there's any queue loss calls or SLAs that are breached, and then you'll just name them. You know, daily sales queue. Um, you can send them to multiple email addresses by just um, putting a comma next to them. Select the frequency, um, the range if you want to see all calls from yesterday or today, um, from a certain extension or a certain number, and then the frequency you can definitely schedule them. So I'm gonna switch over and share my screen on some of the different call reports. So this is an example when you pull a report or schedule a report of, of some information you're gonna see. This is going to be a uh, call report on outgoing and in incoming calls. And it's gonna give you the range of a 12 month period. Of course, you can do it per week or per month um, whatever the call distribution, um, you can kind of pull that and cater it to the numbers you want to see for your sales organization or contact center. The next one we're going to show is going to be the average queue waiting time. So you can see per month um, in seconds, you can even pull this per queue or for all queues you can see how long people are waiting in your queues before getting an agent on the phone. Um, this is really important for different SLAs you have or customer experience um, that your organization has to be able to monitor to see if your agents are, are performing up to par. The next one we have is gonna be the user activity graph where it's gonna give you answered and unanswered calls, um, you know, four different groups. So the user activity for your groups. Um, so that's all I have on call reports. Like I said, if you have an opportunity for contact center, you wanna get more in depth, um, send us over the specific questions or um, insights that are um, important to your customer. And we'll definitely cater a demo based on that. But I hope you gain some valuable insight on our call center features. Um, I'll send it back over to Greg before opening up the chat for any specific questions. Thanks, Vincent. Appreciate it. You know, this is something that's really important. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to make this a video just of the contact center. And um, that way we can go ahead and get it out to everybody who wants to see this demo. So 
we're going to we're going to cut it short here. It's just under 30 minutes. We won't do any of the question and answer, and uh, we will send this out to attended in September. Thanks. Bye now.